Your rush block the time now 634 Atlanta native Halle Bailey is going to be the next Ariel in Disney's live action version of the Little Mermaid. Excited about the role she actually posted on our Instagram saying dream come true. But then the hashtag not my Ariel started popping up and that made some people very angry, especially the Walt Disney owned cable network Freeform. Now Bailey is one of the stars of Grownish on Freeform and in an open letter to the poor unfortunate souls, the network said Danish mermaids can be black because Danish people can be black. Now this has a lot of people talking online, especially about a woman, a young lady who grew up in Georgia. Now digital contributor from Atlanta and company Trent Gilbreth is in for Liza Lucas and Trent. What are people saying about this one? Well, Francesca, that open letter calling out the critics actually got a lot of Halley supporters on our Facebook page. We heard from the Hollywood Maven, uh, said the most important requirement for playing Ariel, have an amazing voice. Box checked, move on. We also heard from Rhonda who weighed in. It's a mermaid, a fictional character. I think she'll be awesome. And Susan joined the conversation. She's gorgeous and has a beautiful voice. I think she'll be great. People have too much time on their hands if this is all they can find to worry about. So keep weighing in. We just got a comment on our Facebook page. I'm gonna reply right now and use the hashtag MorningRushATL. Guys. I am not going to spend my time up here talking about or defending this 19 year old fully capable, beautiful singer, multiple television shows backed by Beyonce. I'm not going to spend my time talking about racist people who don't see her fit for this role. I will say congratulations to this young lady. She's a graduate of Kittredge Magnet School for Higher Achievers right here in Atlanta. 19 years old, accomplished more than most of us have done in our lives. So congratulations to her. Yeah, I mean, one of those tweets said it best. It's a fictional character. Come on, people. I mean, it's just it's ridiculous that we even have to sit up here and have this kind of a conversation. If you know the original story of The Little Mermaid, by the way it's a very tragic story at the end uh, so uh, the, Disney not really holding the true form when it comes to that so why do we have to say we have to make her a white girl with red hair she can be any color she wants it's a fictional underwater character make her purple and blue for all I care <laughs> I mean there are kids of all races, all ages, growing up watching these movies, wanting to find something to relate to about these princesses, wanting right. to dress up as these princesses. This shouldn't even be a question. Yeah, she's gonna go on. She's gonna be good at it. You know, she's gonna do well. This is the world we live in. People have a platform now where they can express how they feel about whatever. And it doesn't surprise me at all that somebody would come out and say something about this. You, you know, know what, but I'm so what glad that, yeah, that the but, people on our Facebook page seem to be supporting her. Well, you know, when the live action Aladdin came out, they didn't get a blue person to play the genie. <laughs> Do we not have any blue people on our planet? <laughs> or wooden people for Pinocchio, yeah, like the last know. tweet said. Yeah. I, don't know. I thought he was playing it blue in, in one of the... <laughs> yeah, 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 Will Smith was. <laughs> 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 well, we have put the full story on 11alive.com, and as Christy mentioned, we actually have it going down, the whole story <laughs> on Morning Rush ATL Facebook page. I'm curious if you disagree with us, we want to have an intelligent conversation. Mm. Let me know what you think. Use the hashtag morningrushATL. Congratulations, Chloe and Hallie.